From a good Samaritan in Iowa who noticed the family's porch was on fire, and a crane accident in California that had workers running for cover, to a tsunami-like wave in Canada that went over the roofs of these houses, and a flaming delivery truck that pulled into the fire station in the nick of time. Here are 10 extreme moments caught on security camera. Wheat Ridge, Colorado is a small town in Jefferson County. It's about six miles outside downtown Denver and home to roughly 32,000 people. Unfortunately, one of those people needed some place to stay after a candle set his living room on fire in September of 2020. It began as Grandpa's 88th birthday party. Unfortunately, the birthday boy has dementia. He didn't realize how much danger he was in when a lit candle set the drapes on fire. Luckily, one of the ants left their purse in the living room. She saw the fire and sprung into action. The birthday party was wrapping up when the fire started. There were about 10 people left, but most of them were on their way out. That's when one of the ants realized she'd forgotten her purse and went back inside. She found Grandpa still sitting in his chair and eating his birthday lunch. Because of his dementia, he didn't realize how much danger he was in. According to FEMA, lit candles cause 23,000 house fires every year. Of those fires, about half are caused by someone putting a candle too close to flammable materials. In this case, someone put the candle next to Grandpa's drapes. Escondido, California is a large city in San Diego County. Those traveling between Escondido and San Diego can ride 30 miles down I-15 or take the train from the public transit center. But if you were there on July 8th of 2015, you may have been looking for an alternate route. Bob's Crane Service had arrived to remove an old eucalyptus tree from outside the main transit hub. Unfortunately, things didn't go according to plan. Let's see why this simple tree removal had the locals running for their lives. You know you're in for a bad time when the crane truck is lifting off the ground. Next, we see the tree come down, which sends these two workers running in front of a bus. It looks like the crane is off camera behind those eucalyptus pieces. They probably thought the tree would come toward them. Clearly, it had other ideas. Thankfully, nobody was injured in the blunder. There were a few close calls, though. When the crane crashed down, the 500-pound weight connecting the arm and the tree flew skyward. That's what our two workers were running from, not the tree itself. According to reports, the weight landed about 50 feet away from the bus. We believe you can see it right here. Hey, we'd be running for the hills too. Commercial truck tires are no joke. They can easily weigh between 100 and 250 pounds, depending on the make and model. On February 19th of 2016, two Chinese men from Chongqing City learned how dangerous one of those heavy tires can be. CCTV cameras were rolling outside a busy intersection. Traffic was flowing smoothly when, out of nowhere, a runaway tire decided to cross. Unfortunately for this local man, he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. The tire seemingly comes out of nowhere. It smashes into the man's van and then bounces over the barrier. 
By the time he gets out, he has no idea what just hit him. According to some local reports, he actually thought a UFO had smacked into the side of his car. When we roll the tape back, we get to see what actually happened. The front left tire fell off an oncoming truck. It curves perfectly around the truck and crosses three empty lanes before hitting this poor guy's car. Imagine how many things had to go right for this to happen. Thankfully, nobody was sitting in the back seat. It's unclear how the tire came off the truck in the first place. If we had to guess, somebody wasn't paying attention when our driver left the station. Most people don't put Canada and Hurricane in the same sentence. And while Atlantic Canada doesn't get hit like Florida and the Caribbean, they'll still experience the tail end of powerful storms every hurricane season. Fiona was a Category 4 hurricane and the first major storm of the 2022 season. On September 24th, Fiona made landfall in eastern Canada. CCTV cameras in Porto Basque, Newfoundland were rolling as tsunami waves ripped beach homes from their foundations. These weren't the only buildings to feel Fiona's wrath. According to reports, the storm surge destroyed a hundred homes in the Porto Basque area. Their position on the southwestern tip of Newfoundland made them extremely vulnerable. Some homes were washed out to sea. Others were deemed unsafe once the storm passed. A year after the tragedy, residents faced the tough decision to move or rebuild. Some moved to higher ground. Others left altogether. The scars from Fiona were just too painful. To this day, Fiona is the most devastating storm to ever hit Newfoundland. Those who chose to stay and rebuild hope nothing ever tops it. Red Oak is a small town in southwestern Iowa. It's home to about 5,300 people and a mother who is grateful for one man's selfless act. Had he not made a wrong turn, she may have lost her four children in a house fire. It was around 2 a.m. on November 1st of 2022. Brendan Burt accidentally turned onto Prospect Street while trying to find his friend's house. The wrong turn was a twist of fate as he drove by a home that was beginning to catch fire. Brendan got out of his car and immediately called 911 as the porch went up in flames. As the story goes, there were four siblings asleep inside the house. Their mother was out of town dealing with a family emergency. Meanwhile, dad was at work. Because it was so late, Brendan assumed people were sleeping inside. He just didn't know how many and how young they were. He watched the fire grow while on the phone with 911. Then, he sprung into action. Brendan went and banged on the windows as hard as he could. Thankfully, the children heard him and made a last-second escape. Thirty seconds later, their eldest brother came running out. Thankfully, nobody was hurt and the kids got in touch with mom. Brendan stayed with the family for three hours after the blaze. He hugged them and told them everything was going to be okay. The most important thing is that they were safe. It's true what they say, not all heroes wear capes.
There are 29.2 million people living in Shanghai, China, making it the third largest city in the world behind Tokyo and Delhi. Imagine how many batteries all those people must use. Now, imagine how many of those batteries spontaneously combust. On September 22nd of 2021, an office cleaner was gathering trash when she found an old battery storage case. She assumes the owner wants her to throw it away, so she places it by the door and keeps cleaning. Something about the battery case keeps stealing her attention. She's about to realize why the owner didn't want it anymore. Scared for her life, she tried opening the fire extinguisher box, but it was stuck. So she grabbed her purse and bounced out of there as quickly as possible. Thankfully, she timed the explosion and escaped without injury. She's lucky too. The battery kept popping and the room quickly filled with smoke. <laughs> Remember what that battery used to look like? Now it's just a pile of melted plastic and acid. We believe this is called a thermal runaway, when high electric currents trigger a chain reaction that causes a battery to overheat, catch fire, and explode. By the time the fire department arrived, the office sprinkler system had kicked on. Thankfully, the fire didn't spread any further than the front desk. For Officer Joel Nitschman, his dog is more than his best friend. It's his partner. And like any good partner, Joel would do anything to keep them safe. He'd even risk his own life by running outside in the middle of a tornado. On January 24th of 2023, an intense rain-wrapped tornado touched down near Deer Park, Texas. The Houston suburb isn't used to wild storms like this. In fact, the storm triggered the first tornado warning ever issued by the National Weather Service's Houston office. Officer Nitschman ran inside the station for cover, but that's when he realized his canine unit, Roni, was still in the car. He never thought twice. He ran back into the storm to save his best friend. Another officer runs inside while Nitschman races to his car. He claims he could hardly see anything through the wind and rain, but that didn't matter. He would do anything for Roni. He heads around to open the other door. Look how close the tree behind him comes to snapping and hitting him. After a few harrowing seconds, he and Roni emerge from the car and head inside the station. Nitschman claims Roni wouldn't move when he finally opened the door. He's a smart dog. He saw what was happening outside and said, nope, I'm staying right here. It took some coaxing, but Roni eventually went with his partner. Roni and Officer Nitschman have been working together since 2018. He's my hip attachment, Joel said. He's part of our family, and there's no way I was going to leave him like that. It was Christmas Day of 2023. A delivery driver in Dushing City, China, was waiting at a traffic light when he smelled something funny. A man pulled up beside him and yelled, Your truck is on fire! Our driver looked back, and sure enough, his cargo bed was going up in flames. Thankfully, he was a local and knew exactly where to go, the Dushing City Fire Rescue Brigade. He called ahead to warn the firefighters that he was coming in hot. Now, it's a race against time. He had to get there before the fire reached the cab. It took 10 minutes to get the fire under control once he arrived at the station. Our driver walked away unscathed, but his truck and cargo were gone. Upon inspection, firefighters learned that he was carrying seven tons of pine tar. 
A pine tar is the dark, tacky substance you get after applying extreme pressure and heat to pine wood. We've used it for thousands of years as a water repellent. It also works well as a natural wood preservative. Meanwhile, athletes use pine tar to cheat in baseball. It's a sticky substance that hitters use to get a better grip on the bat. Pitchers will also use it to grip the ball in cold weather. Pine tar is also flammable, which explains why this driver's truck went up in flames. It's still unclear what caused the fire, though. Bojongsari is a small community in central Java, Indonesia. They were one of many towns affected by severe rainstorms in mid-February of 2021. Floods swept across the Indonesian islands, displacing roughly 60,000 people. But water wasn't the only thing they had to worry about. Bojongsari had already experienced relentless rain, but the worst was yet to come. A woman working the counter at a local pharmacy ducked for cover as the wind battered her storefront. She had a sneaking feeling that the wall wouldn't hold up. From the reverse angle, you can see how the woman and her co-workers narrowly escaped the imploding storefront. They're lucky she decided to pop her head up. Other than the pharmacy, the wind damaged several homes and public utilities. A few power lines also went down, leaving the village in total darkness until later that night. The Chinese city of Chongqing is one of four major municipalities in the country. The city is full of incredible sights and also one very clumsy chef. Back on November 4th of 2015, a chef at a local Chongqing restaurant was using what appears to be a homemade blowtorch to cook pig's feet. Unsurprisingly, the canister of gas caught fire and the chef, in an attempt to save his business, decided to just toss it into the street. Spoiler alert, it was a bad choice. The gas canister rolled away from the restaurant and right under a city bus parked nearby. You can see exactly where the gas is leaking from and blasting out like a flamethrower. One person runs in to try and save the bus by pulling on a wire still attached, but it was to no avail. The thing just keeps spinning and spinning, almost lighting the man on fire multiple times. After some time, the bus ends up catching fire. The chef comes running out with an extinguisher, but there's ultimately nothing they can do at this point. Soon, the fire department arrives and are able to put out the blaze. According to reports, eight people were on the bus when the gas can rolled underneath. Thankfully, everybody made it off before the bus caught fire. The restaurant was at the top of a sloped street. Apparently, the chef didn't realize round objects tend to roll downhill, even when they're on fire. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.